Welcome to Market Minute on HBS TV, the only Harvard University channel where you can get the inside scoop on Wall Street. I'm Mia Saini, and here's a look at the top events that shook the financial markets today, Friday, October 17th. But first, a quick look at the boards. The best week since 2003 with a gain on the week, but all three indices were down today. Sharp selling in the final few moments of trading today as there were expiration of options at the close. The Dow down 128 points, S&P 500 down 6 points, and NASDAQ down 7 points. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett kicked things off this morning by writing an article in the New York Times stating he believes in these rough markets. Quote, he's been buying U.S. stocks for his personal account, picking up a slice of America's future at a markdown price. Consumer confidence in early October registered its largest monthly decline, according to a report issued today by Reuters and University of Michigan surveys of consumers. It fell from 70.3 in September to 57.5 in October. This comes at a time of increasing job losses, poor personal finances, inability to get credit, and a chaotic political economy. And Wall Street was shocked today with the news that home construction plummeted 6.3% in September to the slowest pace in 17 years when we last saw the U.S. in a housing recession. And in recent weeks, Americans have been relying less and less on oil, sliding world crude prices to hit below $70 a barrel for the first time in 14 months, finally landing on 71.84. This news is striking as some analysts predicted that oil in early 2009 would touch over $200 a barrel. And lastly, President Bush tried to relieve the anxiety in the markets today, making a speech at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Bush was extremely vocal in stating that the next president would have to focus on the regulatory reform, since, quote, the 21st century global economy continues to be regulated by laws written in the 20th century. And that's your quick look on the news that shook Wall Street today. Have a great weekend.